you got Jumbroni saying, I'm huge on Anton, all his fights. He seems extremely competitive or he gets taken down and finished. He's got to be working on that. Well, that didn't matter because he just got basically KO'd by Tyson Pedro, who looked dominant last night. Mo Larry Curley says, thanks for the breakdown, short, concise, and to the point. Well done, Double C. Yes, sir. Much appreciated. Appreciate the love, man. You know, we get some love, we get some negativity, but all in all, uh, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Kenneth Bruner is back, long-time regular. Absolutely on point, Chris, as always, with the Wolf. Hamza's channel just dropped a new official training camp video for 294. He looks incredible going through a camp at 185. Coast is getting is going to get destroyed. We've not seen Hamza's best yet. I mean, yeah, I mean, listen, me and Bruner have been uh, on board together with Hamza since day one. Since day, well, maybe day three, but close enough to day one, you dig? Space Shogui, something like that, says, nice, I just hit back-to-back -back picks too. I lost on Blood Diamond though. I never want to see Blood Diamond in an octagon in my life. <laughs> yeah, when it, when you think a guy's going to win and he costs you money, it's it's rough, man. You end up not liking that fighter anymore, that's for sure. And that seems to be what happened to Space. Monte Mitchell, I don't think Hamza can touch Adesanya. He barely beat Burns. Oh, man. He barely beat Burns because he cut so much weight, you know? They, they put this guy on the back burner for four years, and now it's going to be hard for him to make weight. So he's going to have to go get the middleweight title. Jack Peach says, Ty is due a win. Home turf, I smell a finish. Volkov is past his prime. Well, it didn't turn out that way because Volkov looked great last night. Definitely looked like he's past his prime. I don't know if he's a top five heavyweight, but he's definitely number six right now. And these are like the second and third level of fighters uh, in that situation. You know, you got some top guys, like, I guess you could throw Stipe up there, but definitely Cyril Ghosn, uh, and definitely Sergey Pavlovich, number one contender, should be fighting for the title. But John Jones is somehow um, getting to fight Stipe. It's just crazy. What has Stipe done? Got another comment. Hamza is overhyped and overrated. He will get exposed soon by Paulo Costa. And y'all think I'm crazy. There's really some people that believe this, and people are still upset. At Hamza because of the Nate Diaz debacle. But when he dominates Costa and ends up getting the strap, people will change their tune uh, real quickly. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Say, step up, wanna fight? Huh? Hold up. Think twice, ah. gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded. Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, got hit in the head with a baseball bat.